create a hook make a viewer feel like they're learning something from your video the third secret that i've learned from youtube moguls is that because of this video that i posted years ago i'm getting a lot of how do i start a youtube channel how do i grow on youtube i'm here to give you all the teas Hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you guys a five secrets that i've learned from industry moguls that are going to be helping you to grow your youtube channel as many of you may know or may not know i am one of the youtube made for you students it is a program that is made by youtube for youtubers that is going to help us to gain knowledge about youtube especially in the shorts section to grow and monetize our our shots and with that i have learned a whole lot of things that i wish i knew before i even started doing youtube so if you want to know about all five secrets that i have been told make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and a comment down below when the, when you started your youtube channel because i started my youtube channel four or five years ago and i'm still trying to grow the first thing that really is simple and something that as youtubers we don't really consider is that you know, when viewers come to your videos they want to feel something but it's very simple and it's something that you wouldn't think about but viewers want to feel something it's either you make them feel emotional or you make them feel motivated or you make them feel angry or you make them feel anxious any form of emotion is going to force a person to stay and watch your video simple provide value make a viewer feel like they're learning something from your video or they're taking out something from your video done two create a hook or have a hook have multiple hooks because viewers are spoiled for choice and you have to give them a reason to be to stick around your video first few words or first few visuals should, should be able to grab the viewers attention for example when you're editing a vlog take just take a little part of the video where you feel like it's eye-catching and some people will like it put it in, in the start of your vlog so that it can captivate a viewer's attention to hook it can hook them to want to see what is happening in the video and also if you're doing sit down videos like this there are certain hook for example if, if you're going to say i'm going to be giving you guys five tips on how to grow quickly on youtube people like quick stuff i'm going to be captivated to watch more the third reason that i'm going to be giving you guys is going to be questionable but when i learned about it i was like for sure that's why this has been happening the third secret that i've learned from youtube moguls is that they script their content yes i'm talking about having a book writing down exactly what you are going to be saying on your videos if you're going to do a sit down video and you know that your sharp your mind is not sharp to grasp anything or your mind you cannot be able to hold most things that you want to say on your video instead of coming on in front of the camera and stuttering and saying things that you didn't plan to say or even um missing out on the things that you should be saying in that sit down video sit down script write each and every word with every word that you're going to say on the video that is going to make your video look like it has been neatly planned which is one of the things that most viewers like people like to look at things and feel like you know what there was so much work done in this video and it deserved to be watched and they're going to watch your videos and then vlogs if you're planning and you realize that tomorrow i'm going to go to a sh coffee shop then you sit down try to think of uh the angles that you want to take the the angles angles that you want to take rules that you want to take if ever you want to pass maybe you want to pass by cbd which part of cbd do you want to 
put in your visuals which part of even the coffee place you want to put in your visual it also helps you to keep you in the edge to to so that when you're sitting down so that when you're sitting down and drinking your coffee you would remember you know what i said i wanted to try this new angle i said i wanted to shoot my content like this like that so it's going to keep you accountable and also it's going to help you because people like a variety people like um a variety people like to be spoiled people want to be shown um different sides of something you know uh different uh angles of something and then is it the fourth or the fifth fourth secret that i've learned from industry moguls is that when you're getting started with your youtube career it's not advisable that you focus on one thing because at this point now you are just getting started and a lot of people know don't a lot of people don't know you except the people that you know personally and told that you're starting a youtube channel so when you start explore explore with the different topics a uh, different topics do vlogs do sit down videos do uh skits do um uh what do you call it uh do a kind of content that you can for that matter don't be forcing yourself things that you're not comfortable with and after maybe two months or three months you can see which video does best you can just choose from that because as much as we're creating content because we love to we're also creating content for people to view for people to like and come back so you're going to look back onto the videos that you have made and if you see that a lot of viewers are coming in to watch your vlogs then you can know and rest assured that you're going to continue doing vlogs if you're doing uh sewing um you're, if you're doing sewing content content and it doesn't get a lot of views it tells you that people don't really like you for that they like you for lifestyle content so it's going to be it's going to help you um narrow down until you choose your own niche and yeah that is that is it that is it like that is that and you are good to go the fifth secret to a youtube success in 2024 is studying your analytics if you don't know on youtube we get our analytics from this youtube studio uh which is a youtube studio and literally like this it actually give us the info it actually give us the information of how many people viewed, you, viewed your channel and how long did they view your channel and which in which geography are your um subscribers are information like that it can help you to see what kind of videos are audience liking it can help you also to plan your content if you are a south african youtuber and you have um a lot of us people viewing your viewing your videos it can also give you an information that you know what you need to start putting in subtitles because sometimes we speak our natural native language you know in our videos and if uh, if there's somebody who loves your videos and you're speaking mostly your native language they're going to get annoyed and just click off analytics helps you to be able to see the age ranges of people watching your videos and which is also going to help you to know what kind of videos to post also it helps it gives you information of how many males or how many females are watching your videos and also gives you the geography of your audiences it gives you um uh how far are people watching your videos are they watching your 30 minutes video for seven minutes are they watching your, your 50 minutes videos for 30 minutes it gives you that kind of information and after you get that information it can help you to sit down and plan the content that people would want to watch and come back to watch again and again so i don't want to talk more about this look more into analytics i'm going to be expanding more about analytics on my next video so make sure that you are subscribed make sure that you give my video a big thumbs up so that it can be suggested to more and more people and until we meet again on another video bye